heard oh, yeah. this earlier today that there was a good possibility that he was going to bring this out because this is definitely one of his teams. Oh yeah. He can't count this team out even though Yuki goes kind of weak. He, he plays it really well. I believe it. Like with any character in this game, as long as you put in the time, you put in the effort, oh, you yeah. can definitely make it work. Any character is liable in this game, I feel, and I believe that very much. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Cross combo Firebird is just really obnoxious. And if you see, you can actually see that he's already got four Fire Amp charges on Yukiko, so that is extremely good for Yukiko. Oh, I, I actually didn't realize that that charges her, uh, her Fire Boost. Yeah. Blocks the DP. He knows she wants to get out of the situation. Edit <laughs> He's nice out of the command grab. He saw it coming. Very nice stuff. The dash up into uh, grab. Gonna get a nice 6k through this combo with corner carry. But Yang is burning now. He has the option to switch into Yukiko. He doesn't. Oh, he does. Okay. He just tried to go for it. Go for the command grab. He so. loses Yang, but he has level seven fire amp. That is nothing to stop at. Level seven fire amp is only two fire amps away from maximum Yukiko, I believe. I think so. I think she can only get up to nine. So you can expect to see a lot of damage coming from Yukiko if he gets a hit confirmed. Oh, just like that. As He's got Yang in the corner. You can opt for some Yukiko pressure, but he finds his way out. Wow. He, he, the he tried to push block, I believe, the Konohana Sakuya. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> That's that fire amp at work. Normally that wouldn't have killed, but since he has seven fire amp charges, his flames hurt a lot. Yeah. Sets up a threat and pulls the Sky King can bring it back. Oh. Very nice <laughs> stuff. Very so good old go. Blaze Blue. I thought you were gonna grab, so I gotta grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff from both of these players, though. We saw the resonance at the very start of the round where he immediately had four fire amp charges on Yukiko. Oh yeah. So Sky King can think about this and he can put that like, all right, is he going to do it again and how can I punish it? This is starting to look like a party. Now, let the feast begin. I'll take this one, you take that one. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Oh, it changes up his choice of the Alright, Glee's gonna change it up here. No, changes right this into it. This is a grab on Yang. Now he's got corner game, but he vortex to get out of the corner. Azrael with the chase, he's trying to put him back into the corner. He wants this pressure. He wants to be in this position against Yang. That's a great pickup there. He's going to watch for the either burn. Yes, okay. He cross resonances out of the Fan combo. Answers. Very good stuff. Good call out. Going to drag him right back to the corner. This is where Asriel wants you to be. He can get so much pressure off of these corner setups, but his super is going to take him out of the corner. <laughs> Actually, takes so the other He's going direction. to get the free resonance. He's probably going to call for Firebird for some Fire Amp cards. Here we are. Oh, nice He gets the nice cross tag to get the cross up. Oh, not, not quite, safe, quite on. safe on that. Burning again. Burning. Ooh, but he calls out the Yang. He recognized that he hit Yang with the heavy and he cancels oh. down heavy. Very behind him. good recognition from the Sky King on this set. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can tell these two players play a lot locally. Oh, yeah. So a lot of the stuff that they're doing is actually probably has a whole nother layer of depth to it because these two players play each other very consistently. Oh yeah, the character choice, definitely. And it looks like he's switching teams now. Uh, Glee always has a lot of different characters up his sleeve, so. Yeah, we saw that with earlier sets and I thought that was impressive. Mm. I think I, I heard he changed every, uh, every round? He changed every round mm -hmm. against his match with Lambo. Oh wow. But Lambo still managed to come out on top. Let's see if Sky King can do the same. We have stagger pressure coming from Mitsudo. 
no assist on deck though. He needs to keep up the pressure, otherwise he's going to be assistless and he's going to have to take pressure. Otherwise, Bird Meter has a resource in order to get out of it. Oh. Failed conversion, but he still has Rachel in the corner. This is where Asriel wants you to be again. Yeah, with the way he can dash around you. Nice cover for the dash option. <laughs> Puts out a George. Is George still there? I can hear George. Oh yeah, he's, he's still moving. That is very interesting. Oh, George has gotten nice pickup. Yeah, I, I think he moves about one regular screen distance, and then he disappears. Nice confirm off that. Going to their cross combo. <laughs> Gets behind him with that. But... Mitsuru 5B uh, beats out a burst. That's interesting. What? <laughs> wow, you can do that. That is the first time I've seen it. DP? Yep, very there nice go. DP. Very nice DP. And it's an overhead. It's always coming. That free pause button going into work. That's one of Yang's special uh, things that only she has in the game. What? Baron Karen actually hits you. I didn't know that. I thought it only uh, put a status on you. Um, it hits you, and I believe it drains a little bit of meter. It doesn't do actual damage. Hmm. All right, some nice drag fetch. He uses wind to get out of the situation. Very smart. Oh. Blocks the overhead. Good recognition. Seeing the block overhead. Oh, ahead. George is actually take more one more. Very nice. Wow. Mm. I feel like the jump cancel forward was a little uh, ambitious. Mm. Run up 2B. Well, I feel like the run up 2B was fine, but because he forward, I think he forward jump canceled it, right? Oh, after it, yeah. Yeah, because that put him in the corner. That put him in a pretty bad spot. Mm. We're going to see a character change here, though. Let's see what we've got in. Think back to Mitsuru, or yeah. yeah. We got Mitsuru Mirrors. Another very popular character. She's super, super good on, uh, on point. Yes, very much. I know a team that's played a lot online right now is Mitsuru Yuzuriha. Oh yeah. Lots of range and lots of uh, well, <laughs> tricky setups with that. But of course, this is with Ori. Again, what you want to watch out for against these rapier like characters is their great stagger pressure. Their, uh, their long light range as well as how fast they recover makes it very well for pressuring the opponents into unfavorable situations. Definitely. Oh, great pickup off that kind of is. Gets the Bufula set up. Switches into, oh, goes for the instant overhead. Wow. Very nice. Bufula's going to interrupt the combo though. Rachel finding himself in a bad situation, but uses cross resonance to back Ori off. You know, telling him, listen, you cannot go in after me with cross resonance up. I have assist on deck. Oh, yeah. I, I love Lee's uses of uh, cross combos. Lee's uh, active switching and just throwing out tons of Rachel projectiles. Very nice overhead from Moria. He's going to convert into this. He back text towards the corner. Oh, wow. Oh, that's happy birthday. Oh, no. Drops the happy birthday. Interesting. Nice tag with him. That's George 13th for getting in options. He wants me to do in the back, that way she can heal a little bit more. Gotta watch for the load from the back. He watches for it. Very nice. He gets the stab pressure in. He drags him to the corner. A little bit of a scramble. Nice punish on him. He respected the Mitsuru uh, lunges. Very nice. If I remember correctly, that super, the reason he's using it is because it refills his wind gauge. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, I guess it uses the wind gauge just to get up all that high. Yeah. I know that now she has to actually throw out a normal with it to attack uh, with the wind. Missed conversion, but it's all. But he switches into Ori, realizing that Mitsuru's a little low. He wants Mitsuru to have a little bit more health. Oh. With DP, Barely though, missed it. I think he was trying to read the Rachel going in, try to push block it. Accidentally reverse beats out of the conversion. Oh, there you go. Very good nice anti-air. Oh, there's an EX right here. Rachel knows he has EX drop the air on deck. He wants to watch out for it. Oh, he wow. checks for the option by setting the Lotus out, and he kills himself through it. It's 
very patient play right here. None of these players want to make a mistake. Any mistake from either of these players could result in death. Oh. Mm. Oh, very nice. So I think that takes it to 2-2 two -two now. It is indeed 2-2. Two -two. We might see a character switch coming in here, I believe. Get another one. Here we go. That's the last team he has up his sleeve. Oh, okay. Yuzuria, another really, really strong some character. Yuzu Rachel here. Mm. We saw the Rachel setting up for Orie, uh, Orie, uh, Mitsuru lunges in neutral. Mm -hmm. So let's see if Sky King adapts to that. Although he took the round, he shouldn't be too cocky. He respects his opponent very much. And this is one of the reasons why playing against Yuzu is very scary. Tons of crossovers. In terms of cross-ups, allows for great resonance opportunities too. He's got him in the corner. This is where Yuzu Riha wants to pressure her, but she manages to find her way out by forward teching. Yeah, get Yuzu Riha off him for a little bit. Take the cross combo, combo, but it's fine because we have this, the empowered version. So yeah, this actually here. might kill because of the empowered. Oh, yes, yep. there it is. That's right. Does Yuzuri have a lower than normal health? Um, I'm honestly not sure. What I do know though is that if you are doing an empowered city, your DHC is a guaranteed 2.5k of damage no matter how far the combo is scaled. Oh wow, the blooper dying is that hard. Alright, we're gonna refill wind gauge, we're gonna get Oki here. Oh, very very nice cross-up, nice cross -up. very ambiguous. It runs right under the frog while everything's on screen. He's setting Lotuses, he's watching for Orie's advances, but Lotus is off the field now. Tempest Dahlia helps him refill win- oh, it doesn't refill win gauge in this game. Oh no! A whiffed overhead, but not much leverage gained out of that forward B, I believe it is. A lot of George with 13, but no meter on oh, tech to nice push throw. block. Got to throw tech due to the push, uh, due to the grab tech, all Georges are off the table. DP to watch for air advances. Very nice. Lunges oh, plus. and George Lunges takes it. into the George 13. <laughs> Very nice play from both of these players. Glee realizes Mitsudu's uh, strong points. Oh, yeah. Is going in and applying stagger pressure or applying normal pressure in general. So he uses George the 13th to check for those. He's saying, listen, if you are going to go in with your lunge, then I'm going.